hello cancers and welcome back to my channel lumen moon tarot so cancer yeah my schedule's just a little bit messed up today you guys know i've been on the road right <laughs> but i'm back now i'm back at the table here to do your daily reading my darlings this reading is for the collective so it may not resonate with all of you just take what does resonate cancer and leave the rest right don't try to force anything and thank you so much everyone i love you guys thank you so much all of the likes all of my subscribers thank you thank you to everyone new here um oh and i do want to mention guys if you see anyone in the comment section that's like wanting you to go to WhatsApp or, you know, um, wanting to solicit any personal readings. I don't do any, I don't do personal readings, guys. Um, so that is not me and I'm never going to ask you for money. Okay, so um, yeah, try as much as you can to avoid all, the, all of any scammers out there, right? Don't buy into it. Um, that is not me. All right. Anyway, Cancer, let's see what we've got for the weekend energy, okay? The next 48, what do you say? Divine, what messages do you have for Cancer? Messages for Cancer, please. Ooh, Cancer. Oh, boy. All right. <sighs> cancer, I feel, oh, my gosh. Cancer, you got people coming out of the woodwork here. Um... All right, so Cancer, I feel like you've got a couple of people that want to get to know you. Or, uh, the people are seeing you as, I mean, a big piece of candy, Cancer. I'm telling you, um, you're beautiful. You're entering into a whole new cycle. And as you cross over into this cycle, people are going to be, they're going to be chasing after you. Okay, they're going to be fighting for your attention. Um you know, you've got pages coming. I kind of get the sense that these people are new people here, the Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Um, one seems to be a bit of like a sort of a gusher, but kind of a goofball. Another one wants to get you get to know you slowly. But uh, yeah, I feel like your wish fulfillment here. And you're stepping into a cycle, now, like a new phase of, of your life, right? I talked about this in the bonus reading last night. You're stepping into a brand new phase of your life, Cancer, leaving the past behind, releasing. You've got new people coming in, fighting for your attention. Okay, people are going to start chasing after you, Cancer. <laughs> All right? Just know that. And you are wish fulfillment. I, I feel like you're looking for something that's going to be solid, stable. That's what you want. You want someone who's going to commit to you. You know, um, you want someone who's going to respect you, be there for you, um, support you, help you, help, you know, work with you so that you can grow something solid together. And I feel like as new people come forward, though, I feel like there's somebody here who wants to keep you stuck or or this could be your energy cancer still thinking about this person who isn't moving on this. All right, there's a, th this is a separate individual here who I, I feel like is watching you um, move on. Uh, you may still be kind of, you know, thinking about them. Are they coming? Are they not coming? Trying to release. Um, but I, I kind of get the sense that this person who isn't doing anything about this wants to hang on to you somehow, okay? Um, I'm really, yeah, you're the, cause you're the empress here. You're about to be, you're about to be chased by a lot of suitors, cancer. So get ready. Um, yeah, they need to get their strength. They're, they're looking at you, cancer, like, oh man, that's my girl or that's my guy. Take it how it resonates. They're looking at you like that. Like this is mine. Mine's, 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 right? <laughs> Um, I feel like they know that, um, I mean, who wouldn't want an empress? Who wouldn't want somebody who's done their work and who's abundant and who's ready to grow and build something solid with somebody, you know, who's independent, beautiful, and every queen in the deck? Who wouldn't want this? I feel like I don't know how this person is able to watch you. You could be in the public eye posting a lot of stuff, but right now, Cancer, 
you should be like keeping your moves hidden as much as you can, right? I don't know exactly how they're how they're watching you be chased by somebody else, but it's like they know that they know you are. And um they're they're still very intimidated by your energy. I don't really want to call this person a coward, even though there's a lot that they've done wrong to you that they need to take accountability for. And they know it. So I feel like they are scared, but they're looking at your energy like, you know, it just makes them feel very intimidated by you. You're very strong, um, very determined right now, um, very knowledgeable. And uh, yeah, it's I feel like it's really freaking this person out. But yet at the same time, they want to they want to keep you where you are. Yep, heartache. There's this person's heartbroken, man. They're heartbroken. The one you're leaving behind is heartbroken, Cancer. They want this soulmate connection, and all they can do, it, it's like, the, you know what? I'm not going to keep saying all they can do is watch you because this person could do a lot. They could do the right thing. They could take accountability for all that they've done. This is a grown person here, grown up. All right, all they have to do is take a, a step towards you. But, you know, some of you honestly may not even want this person back. Some of you may not even want them back. You're doing really good. Yeah, look, the happiness. You're doing really good on your own. You know, with the Empress and the Sun out here together, um, some of you may be pregnant don't have to be though i just feel like this person is watching you be happy without them and they know that you're uh you're about to be chased because who wouldn't want this who wouldn't want the empress yeah hangman position <laughs> they want this new blessing and love they realize who you are they realize the kind of person you are um they're realizing all that they did wrong and what they need to do in order to get you. They know for a fact that you're about to be chased by other people. Okay, you're going to have people coming out of the woodwork chasing you, Cancer. You're in the Empress energy too. You're attracting new things to you right now. So yeah, be expecting this. You're the dating. You're going to start dating again, Cancer, meeting, meeting new people they know it they know it <laughs> and it's making them feel kind of sick what is this yeah look communication they know they need to boss up and communicate look at this look at what all came out they know they need to boss up and communicate here they know they want to take a leap of faith towards a cancer this person wants to get back together but see, they're still in this energy. They're just trying. They're trying desperately to get the strength to come forward, okay? Because they are intimidated by you. And they know they need to match you at your same level. This is the emperor to the empress here. So is this person going to boss up in time? I don't know. For some of you, like I said... Um, you're walking away from this because all they gave you was empty cups. You know, they couldn't make a decision. They juggled an earth angel. You're done. I feel like you're walk a lot of you are walking away. This person gave you nothing, not even um, the decency of an apology for how they hurt you in the past. They didn't show you any love. I feel like it's not just them you're walking away from. You're walking away from a lot of empty cups here. Earth angel energy. You know, I feel like you have a job to do here, Cancer, and that is to inspire the people who will listen. Um, and uh, if people aren't going to be, I mean, if, if they're not going to have anything to do with you, right, if they're not going to communicate, if they continue to hurt you, if they continue to not show you any love, I feel like, you got to keep it pushing and that's kind of what you're doing here you're closing out a cycle and you're moving forward into a new one yeah look chariot on the bottom of the deck you're moving on so this person they have no time left 
to um, gather their strength and their thoughts, right? They've got to boss up fast. They got to boss up fast if they want to get back together and they've got to take a leap of faith, put one foot in front of the other and come and talk to you about this. You know, without that communication, this person's going to lose an empress, period. You're not sticking around. You've got earth angel energy here. They're going to lose an earth angel. And you don't just find an earth angel around every day. You know what I mean? They've got to stop juggling. They've got to make a decision. This person feels very stuck. Um, put one on this nine of wands for me, please, divine, for cancer. They're going to watch you be chased and watch you out here dating. Yeah, what was this one? Yeah, out in the cold. I feel like, uh, yeah, this person's very burdened. They could be, I feel like life is just beating them down. You know what I mean? Life's kind of kicking this person's butt. Um, they're very low on their abundance. They're very low on finances. So they've got some financial issues going on. Uh, they could be losing their health. They're not getting any new opportunities under all of the snow. I, they could be with somebody else, Cancer, followed somebody else straight out into the cold. They may feel stuck with that person. They could have even gotten someone else pregnant. So take it how it resonates with you. But Yeah, they're in a toxic situation right now. Thinking about you, right? Yes. <laughs> Thinking about you and knowing that you're the one that they want. This person's just, I feel like they, man, their only happy time, I feel, Cancer, is when they're reminiscing about how you love them, okay? They're reminiscing about that. That's the only warmth this person gets is when they're thinking about you. Otherwise, they're in a toxic situation with somebody. I feel like they're having a hard time getting out of that. Uh, you could be dealing with um, a King of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavy on Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah. But you're moving on. You could be dealing with an Aries, Virgo energy, Taurus. Yeah, you're moving on. You're about to get you're about to get somebody better than them, right? Here they are in this energy and here's a new person coming in for you, Cancer. And you know what? They can see it. They know it. This person's scared. They're they're having anxiety. They know they've got to gather the strength up really quick to come through really quickly. But they still haven't broken free from a toxic situation. You know, this could be a lifestyle as well. They could have addictions, um, drink, drinking, drugs, gambling, something like that. I could actually see a gambling problem here, especially with the Two of Pentacles. Um, but yeah, I feel like, they, I, yeah, they're just watching you. They're watching you get with somebody new. They're watching new people come in and they know it. They know somebody's going to come in who's actually going to be deserving of your love. Who's going to choose just you, Cancer. This also could be somebody in the public eye. Um, very like well-liked and respected in their community. But I feel like this is what you're going to get. Someone else is going to have the victory. If they don't get a move on here, because they're moving way too slow, all they're doing is watching you, studying you, stalking you, stalking you, and freaked out. Um, yeah, but they're not doing any. They're not doing any communicating yet. Yeah, I feel like you're going to be given to somebody else here soon, Cancer. Yeah, what else can you show me for cancer? Oh, cancer. You're, you know what, though? 
just wait cancer all of these people are going to be coming out of the woodwork like i said you're you're about to be chased yeah you're about to be chased and uh, like i said and you're ready for love you are ready for love you got nine pentacles here the most in the in the deck that you can have is 10. okay so um, not only that, but you've learned your lessons. You've passed all, like, I kind of see these pentacles as a test, right? You've learned your lessons. You've passed all the tests. You've leveled up in the tarot deck, right, on this journey. And the one last pentacle here that you don't have, that one stands for love, a connection that's going to take you to the Ten of Pentacles right there something solid you know that um you deserve something solid cancer and this is this is what's coming for you you're about to get somebody who's going to make you that ten of pentacles offer i don't think you guys are going to be single much longer and uh this person is seeing it too yeah and with that love and spirituality you have this could have this person over here could have been a twin flame could have been your divine masculine, divine feminine. Take it how it resonates. But this is a choice. I feel like you're making the, the decision that you deserve a commitment. You deserve somebody who just wants you, who's going to be there for you. And this person, I feel like they chose the devil over the divine. And now they're over here paying the price for it. They're, everything's kind of going wrong in their life right now they're af they're afraid of you because uh, you're in this energy that you're in this strong intense energy um they're very intimidated i feel like they're very surprised too because you know what i feel like cancer you went from this to this okay and i feel like they're really uh freaked out by that like this person doesn't know how to approach you, this person from your past. But honestly, I got to say, Cancer, I'm sort of feeling like at this point, you guys may not even care if this person approaches you or not. You're moving on. We got the world card, the empress, and the chariot out here. I feel like, and walking away from empty cups, yeah, you're moving on. You guys are going to be out dating, and you're beautiful right now. Look at you. You're stunning. You're confident. You're intuitive. You're, you're floating right into this new cycle, guys. I hope you guys caught my um, bonus reading that I put out last night. Um, yeah, it's all because you've been divinely led and you actually listened to the messages and you, you followed the instructions that the divine gave you, right? They've, they've pointed you in the right direction this whole time and you've healed it's brought you to your healing now you're ready to move on start a new life the new phase in your life that's going to be awesome and this person back here this past person you're really just kind of leaving them in your in in your dust is what you're doing and they're they're still stuck in a toxic situation like i said that they don't know how to approach you they need to get their strength up they need to communicate um, in order to get back together, they have, this person's losing their sleep over this. They, they want this new beginning with you, Cancer. They do. They do. They're really concerned, too. They don't know if you're um, sharing passion with anybody new yet, right? This is one of their worries, that you have somebody new. You're keeping your moves hidden. It's hard for this person to figure it out. They don't know who you're with. You know, you could be out there dating, uh, you know, a few people, right, to see who's right for you, who's going to commit to you. Yeah, they're losing their mind, man. This person, they, they cry at night, Cancer. They can't sleep. They're having nightmares if they are sleeping. Nighttime is really bad for this person because they, they kind of they think back about you and how wonderful you were. And then they start having these visions of you being with somebody else. And it's driving this person nutty. They've got to get their strength up to come forward or they're going to lose you for real. Some of them ha already have. You've made the conscious choice to move on. 
you know? Yeah. I feel like this is you. I feel like you're cutting out anybody who betrayed you in the past. This is your energy I'm feeling, Cancer. King of Swords. You're, you're King of swords in this person because of the betrayal, because of the backstabbing. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you uh, have already made this decision. Cut them out like a boss. You're done. You can't you can't stay in this energy right not an empress so yeah you're bringing down this tower <laughs> you're bringing down this tower cancer and you're watching it burn and this person yeah they were on the bottom of the deck they're all up in their feels cancer they're so emotional over this i mean they really are doing a lot of crying next 48 they're yeah yeah, I feel like this person loves you, Cancer, but they've never shown you, they've never told you, you know, the King of Cups to me is Captain Wishy-Washy, right? Um, and you're in this powerful, feminine, masculine energy, King of Swords. Um, you're serious about the rest of your life, and if somebody isn't going to be serious and show you, you know, some kind of decency and respect and be strong for you they're cut anybody who's betrayed you in the past they can't come back in if they've lied and uh, watched you walk away crying and didn't do anything about it they can't come back in now you know uh, you know your worth you know your value and you know somebody is going to come who's going to be exactly what you deserve who wouldn't want the Empress? So this person, I feel like a lot of you are leaving this person behind in tears, right? They're just wallowing in their pain right now, feeling stuck, knowing they've got to come in fast, knowing they're, they're like trying to get their courage up, okay? Because they don't want to lose you to somebody else, but I feel like a lot of them are going to because you, like I said, you're bringing down towers and watching them burn, Cancer. If people haven't done right by you by now, I don't think that they're allowed back in. Anyway, you guys, I am going to take this into the extended, right? Um, I, I just want to see what happens next with this person. Are they going to come in and communicate or are they not? Because I just see them sort of thinking about knowing that they have to, but not making that attempt yet. So if you guys are interested in the extended, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box. That'll take you straight to Patreon. Um, just choose the messenger tier, right? And uh, Cancer, I, I hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Get ready to be chased, <laughs> right? Um, you and you deserve it who wouldn't want the empress okay um anyway cancer i love you if you like this video please hit that like button subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you like this vibe and until next time cancer take care of you my darlings and peace out <laughs>